Alright, good people. So for today, I already know what's going on. It's gonna be real brief, man. I apologize about my little rant at the end of my last video, man. But I be feeling some type of way sometimes. And that shit better out than in. But that was 17 seconds. I said the first 15. But uh, hopefully, I don't get demonetized for that. But if you're new to the channel, man, and you just here watching, man. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so y'all know when I'm dropping these videos, man. And uh, I left my stick at the crib, so it's going to be looking a, a little crazy, but it is what it is, man. I'm on the road, man. I'm trying to see what I can see. You dig what I'm saying? I still got the, uh, the doors on the back of the truck because, of course, I can't get them all by myself. You feel me? And my, my, my dog... My dog always at work, so whenever he gets some time, we gonna get him off the back of the truck and we gonna, we gonna get it popping. But my thing is, it's, it's, look at the, hold on, I can't even, let me flip the camera around. It's ugly outside right now, you feel me? But that ain't never stopped nothing, you know? But like I say, man, today one of them little videos where I'm trying to see what I can see. So that's what we doing right now. It ain't really no, I ain't gonna have no title to the video until the end of the video, man, but it's all good. I can't even prop my phone up to, to show y'all the road, but when we find a destination, I'm gonna turn y'all off and turn y'all back on when we get there. You already know what's going on. Man, that little band's toe up. That's too bad. Nice too. Well, it is what it is, but y'all know what's going on, man. GPG got motion. Let's go. People, I'm finna show y'all exactly what type of time I'm on. You feel what I'm saying? See, guys don't be on this type of time, but I do. You know, I be on this type of time. I'm finna show y'all something real quick. I'm in a whole nother state, by the way. You feel me? You don't get nothing done if you don't do it like this. Look at here, look at here, look at here. What we got here, baby boy. Ooh, nice solid joint too. What year is this? Okay, 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 okay. It's my year too. 87. Uh-huh. Never mind the tag. That's where he got the car from. But you see how he got it up little dent right there oh wait till we get to this interior so y'all be sleeping on the kid man y'all can't scared y'all can't be scared to hit that road you feel me okay clean clean look at that dashboard look at that boy oh my god yeah all original you feel me all original. Y'all know what's going on. Y'all know what's going on, man. But yeah, let me see if I can uh if I can get somebody out here real quick. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna turn y'all off and turn y'all back on. Yeah, that's what type of time I'm on. But yeah, let me see if I can get somebody out here. I'm gonna turn y'all off and turn y'all back on. GPG got motion. Y'all must have y'all must have thought I wasn't gonna uh, I wasn't gonna pop the hood. Right. Hold on. All original. Still got the GM hoses on it. Yeah, this mother here ain't no ain't no joke. This ain't for no games at all. This ain't for no games, man. But yeah, let me see if I can get somebody out here. Man, I'm gonna turn y'all off and turn y'all back on. Y'all know how it go. See, and I don't know. I guess this was an option too, because this is an 87. This is an 87. They, they usually didn't come with these. You know, so the fenders that I got for my, the car, the red car, got these on them. But 
Y'all see how to look? Look how I close the door. Look. Look. Oh, wait a minute. Come on, man. Yeah, I need this. I need this. All right, I'm going to turn y'all off and turn y'all back on. Let's go. Okay. He said it's only 85,000. Origin 89,000 original miles on this car. I say, man, I want this car. He said, everybody wants this car. Yeah, this mug is nasty, boy. When I say this is what a Monte Carlo is supposed to look like, ain't no wires hanging from, look, I mean, you know, typical stuff, but man, this car is immaculate. It ain't nothing out of place. Okay, that little piece right there, but this car is immaculate as far as the interior goes. He said the car running dry. He got the car sitting up on jack stands because he was going to try to take the, uh, the wheels off, man. But yeah, this mug is clean, clean. I need this in my life, man. Oh my God. But yeah, man, you know, I don't, I don't, everybody don't like being on camera, man. So I ain't gonna just put the camera in his face, but I'm about to talk to him real quick. And then we gonna go from there, but y'all see what's going on. Yeah, we is in Louisiana, by the way. He say the guy that, Matter of fact, I'll tell y'all when I get in the car. Let's go. Man, look at the trunk. Oh, the battery dead. See, you gotta buy a jump box for these, man. Well, what it is, man, I, when I bought it, Pico, when I bought it, uh, it had a brand new battery in it. Right. I think that damn clock is running the damn battery. Though. It might, you never know. Cause the clock on it stays on. And that, that, they did that back in the late eighties. You know, right. you always could look in there and see it. And if you don't drive it every day, I guess that's why. Cause right. I used to use my truck or my Jeep or something else. This is just for the weekend. Yeah, and man. I can't wait till I get in mine. Man, that's just, man, I tell you what, she's, I saw pictures. You got two of them, huh? I got, I got, what? Well, I got three of them, actually. Now I got an 88 T-top. I actually got the, I just went and picked oh, up the, the doors. But I got two arrow coops. I got a hard top and I got a T-top one. Man, my car looked like this when I got it. And they, they messed over me in Florida, so. Oh, that's the one that they stripped. Yeah. It's coming back though. It's okay. all good, but it just just seeing this right here, man, you don't understand. Like you saw the ashtray, man. I ain't even look at the ashtray. You wouldn't believe that shit. Oh my god! Look. It ain't Brent. never been smoked. <laughs> never been used. Never. Oh my god! I, somebody hey man, listen. If you did, matter of fact, I'm, I'm gonna turn. Listen, I'm gonna turn y'all off and turn y'all back on, man. If you're new to the channel or you just here watching, man, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you can become part of the GPG and you know when I'm dropping these videos. GPG got motion. Let's go. I See, you sound like me. Y'all see all this stuff, man. I ain't gonna make them pull the paperwork out, man. but y'all see what's going on, man. Look, look at this. Y'all see, listen, look at that. It still got the color code on the trunk, man. Oh, you gonna really Look, look at this. Man, my boy just got, boy, see? This is what you do when you got money. You just let shit like this sit around and, you know, you ain't, you know. Look at this, man. Got the old original paperwork that came with the car, too. The shit that was in the window? This is what was in the window back in the day. Well, Man, stop playing. That's yeah, crazy this, yeah, that's yeah. See, Model. see all that stuff right there. That that add value to the car too. A little bit of money, right? right? There. <laughs> <laughs> but look, man, I'm I'm a uh, I'm a to y'all know I'm gonna talk to y'all in a minute. I'm just over here like a kid at a candy store. But I'm uh, once again I'm gonna turn y'all off and turn y'all back on. Let's right, go. Man. Make one more stop, since you know, just motherfuckers be on the whole day nuts on me and shit. Come look at something, you dig what I'm saying? Look at something real nice, you feel me? But I really was looking at this this ram. This motherfucker right here, this one nice. Got the door on the back, see what I'm saying? It ain't got the stupid big one. This must be like a 2022 or something. It's nice. It's a sport, nice little time, huh? But yeah, I just, I was looking at that truck, but this one right here, I know they, that's a big horn. Mine was a, mine was a, a Laramie. Look at this, it's Chrysler. 
I just need something reliable, man, something I can jump in and don't worry about. You know what I'm saying? I done had one of these already. I really don't want one. It's an S. It's like the one old oh, guy. Yeah, man. It is what it is, man. Nice Sierra, five three. Well, yeah, I passed up the spot that I was supposed to be going, but it's all good. We ain't tripping. I'm gonna turn y'all off and turn y'all back on when I get on the road. We can have a little discussion. You feel me? Let's go. All right, good people. So. You know, we left from out there it's real quick. I know everybody probably like, man, you going to them people. I know who car it is. You know, I just, this is our first time meeting. You know what I'm saying? I done talked to him on the phone and stuff like that. We done, you know, because he wanted some mags, but he, was, he always was telling me about, he wanted some uh, Monte Carlo mags, but he always was telling me about the Monte Carlo he had or whatever. So, I was like, man, I got to go see this thing, you know, and it was an opportunity for me to shoot a video or whatever, but when I seen the car, it was like crazy, and you know, he a Camaro man, but the guy, see, this is the, this is the, uh, this is the epitome of being a man of your word, you know, so the, the guy that he got the car from, he got a, he got like a, he got like a, a, a hanger. For those of y'all that don't know what a hanger is, that's one of them things that an airplane go in, I guess. Don't quote me on that. But he got a big ass thing like that full of classic cars and he was supposed to have been getting a Camaro. I want to say like a, I don't know if he said an 81 or, I don't know if he said he, he was getting an 81 or he, he, he was getting a 69 or he wanted a 69, but the dude was supposed to have been selling him an 81. So uh, I rock. So it had to be like an 81 or something like that. I don't know. But anyways, so the dude ended up getting rid of the car. Something happened with the car. And the guy was like, man, well, since I, uh, you know, since I got rid of the car or, or whatever happened to the car, I got a money Carlo you should check out. So he said he went and seen the car. Man, the car was just sitting like, you know, they had cranked the car every now and then. He said the dent came from like a... Uh, a welding tank or something like that but the car just was sitting you know it's always been inside you know what i'm saying and even with it being inside you see it got a little surface rust on it so it must have got moist in the place that it was at i don't know but he said the dude let him get the car or whatever man and i was like bro i need i need this i need this car man you know so we got to chopping it up and talking and i ain't gonna say what's gonna happen but just know me and him locked in and uh he gonna come down for cruising or whatever but y'all seen the interior of that car man that junk was that it was ridiculous man i was like man my mouth literally was watering like that's crazy like now my mouth dry as hell but yeah man you, you know you can't be scared to, to, to get on that road man you gotta get on that road man you see something that you feel like is good for you Get on the road and go get it, man. You ain't gonna miss out on nothing. See, you get to see some trees and all types of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, you get to you get to ride and explore or whatever, you know. But at the same time, just don't be scared. Like, I don't care. I'm gonna tear out. I'm gonna tear out. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Like, if I see it and I'll be like, oh, okay, because I know one thing. If I don't do it, somebody else gonna do it. So why not me? But yeah, man, I just I just wanted to say I appreciate him allowing me to come over there and check the car out. I know y'all, when I said, let me see if I can get somebody out here, I was saying that because he hadn't made it there yet. So I was saying, let me see if I can get somebody out here or whatever, like if somebody else was at the house or something, but he got pulled up over there. I know y'all was like, man, you over there opening them folks shit, popping hoods, all types of stuff. Nah, I would never do nothing like that, man. That's a, that's the best way to get shot. You feel me? But yeah, man, I'm on my way back or whatever. We gonna see what we can get into. And if we don't, then y'all gonna get a conclusion. Like I said, this wasn't no, it wasn't supposed to be no long video or whatever. It was just supposed to be something to, to hold y'all off to this this Griselda thing go down because it's about to go down. I got in touch with a couple people. My dad's person, my console person. I haven't got in contact with my C person yet. So, 
it is what it is. I got to get in contact with my AC person. But I really was uh trying to check me a vehicle out, man. Like I say, since everybody want to hold day and business on the kid, I got to take matters into my own hands. But it is what it is, man. I ain't going to talk y'all to death, man. Let me drive because it's, it's raining off and on. It ain't. It was, it's raining back there, but it wasn't raining. It ain't raining up here. So I'm going to uh, turn y'all off and turn y'all back on, man. You already know if you're new to the channel or you're just here watching, man, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you can become part of the GPG. Where else would you rather be than with me? And you know when I'm dropping these videos, you did. GPG got motion. Let's go. All right, good people. So I made it to the crib. You know I did a little running around or whatever. I ain't. I ain't get to uh, see nothing else, but I was supposed to be <coughs> pulling up on my boy Lester or whatever so we can take a look at his car, but I was just so, I was so fascinated with how clean Buddy car was. And it was just, it's, it's crazy, man. When you see stuff like that, I want my custom, when I say custom, I mean the rap shit. I want my shit to be in the car as crisp and clean as his shit was. But that's 87. Like, he was asking me questions about the car. Like, he ain't know nothing about it. But he's a, a Camaro guy. And like I said early in the video, Buddy uh, blessed him with the car. He paid for it. Don't get it Don't get it twisted. He definitely paid for the car. The car run and drive. But, you know, when you got money, you just, you know, you got multiple cars. And he bought a, he bought a car just for the rims on the car. And he wanted to... Uh, the, the honeycombs or whatever because Buddy took the honeycombs off of that car and put on a, a, a Camaro around the same years. They all came with the same rims, but it was a guy that Ike know stayed down the street from his house. He was telling me the difference between the honeycomb rims. Like, I guess the centerpiece is a little slimmer or longer or something like that. I don't know. But if you're new to the channel or you're just here watching, man, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe turn on your post notifications so you can become part of the gpt and know what i'm dropping these videos man so this was going on right now you know we got the doors or whatever you know we're gonna put the doors on this thing you feel me i'm trying to get that thing from my mans and shit but he you know he done had the car for a sec now nah, he ain't had it that long he said he drove to cruising the coast last year or whatever, but he was kind of skeptical about the car because the car being so old. But they don't know, man. I would have. I don't care where I. If, if I would have seen that car and how it looked in the inside, I would have. I would have been more than willing to jump in it and drive it wherever just to try it out. That's how it was with Griselda. Like that's why I got a. I got a certain attachment to it because my daughter. We all went to New York to go get that car, and I. You know, when I got up there, it was like, damn, I'm really about to drive this or try to drive, attempt to drive this car back, man. Drove the car back, man. Stopped in Virginia, slept for three hours, man. Hopped on the road, man. It was nothing. Like, it was nothing. And I ain't did nothing to that car since, except got a tune up. And then, you know, some years passed, the car was sitting up. It was supposed to be getting. You know, the one-two thing on it. I was supposed to be riding around there. I, I'm, I was supposed to be not the first person because Playboy G, it's a lot of people that undid it. But where I'm at right now, I was supposed to be the first person tucking on them 26 by 12s. And it's just that. And then with the interior and stuff, like all that stuff, you know, right now it would have been outdated. So I'm kind of glad that y'all told me, like, man, you need to go back original because I got all that stuff. And I could put it in this red car, and I was thinking about putting it in this red car. Good, I'm tired. I was thinking about putting it in this red car, man, and, you know, doing it like that. But y'all jump in the comment section and let me know if y'all think that everything that was inside of Griselda, as far as the woodwork go, with the dashboard, the... Uh, the two bucket seats in the rear, the center console that goes all the way from the back to the front, um, the the quarter panels in the back, the door panels, 
uh yeah that's about it y'all think if y'all think i should put that shit in the car i still gotta get it wrapped i still gotta get the correct dash i still gotta get the correct uh cup holders the the speakers and i still gotta do all that stuff so if i throw it in the car it's just gonna be a whole bunch of wood in the car man which you know you live and you learn you you be one when you when you, when you got the money to spend at at, at, a, at a certain point in time it don't really matter what's going on because you want what you want and that at that time that's what i want it, it, i mean i i ain't gonna say that's what i wanted but alan my boy alan king of customs he uh he, he definitely did his thing i haven't talked to him in a while we was going um we was going to link up and do something else, you know, and, you know, it is what it is, man. He gave me a quote and shit, I ain't got the money for it. So I, I'm not going to waste his time or whatever. But I seen he had made a post and this ain't got nothing to do with me because this was like so far down the line. This had to do with because me and him was actually talking on the phone and he was like, man, deaf. He, I think he said deaf to everybody that. Or he said he said something like rest in peace to everybody that no he he said something like I don't know to after they found out I don't know how it go how it went but it it was crazy man but Allen real good dude he do real good work you know what I'm saying if you ain't if you ain't willing to pay man he not somebody that you want to contact because at the end of the day if you ask him to do something he gonna execute it way above your expectations and that's that's a fact so you know when he was putting all this shit in my car i was talking to him on facetime or whatever and a limited cuss they i don't know i don't know what went wrong with them man and i'm still i still ain't you know that's what i'm saying dealing with these shots man be careful man because i'm still yeah man i'm you you if you knew how many thousands of dollars i'm i was in that car man you would be like you would have, uh, uh, the normal person would have been gave up, but I love it. When I say I love this shit, man, it's almost like a raggedy bitch you can't get rid of. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's like, yeah, good or anything good or whatever good, but it's one of those situations. And it's like, man, I love this shit. And it ain't, it's just about being in it and riding and, you know, it, I don't know. I don't know what what's my attraction to it, but it's definitely something that i love doing man i used to play with a lot of model cars and all that stuff i hope y'all didn't you know get get you know people probably be like damn that nigga was talking too much at the end of the video whatever whatever that's why i ain't gonna talk too much now because it's a lot that i can say about a lot of things but i'm about to get some fuck whoa whoa t-shirts so y'all make sure y'all uh support the movement man you dig what i'm saying and it ain't got nothing to do with no seriousness it's just it's my truck situation and he ain't handle that business one thing y'all need to know that's my baby and you know he know what time it is but we about to get some fuck whoa, whoa t-shirts you feel me if y'all support this gonna be the support whoa, whoa so it's not like he need it but we all need support baby and i appreciate y'all but it is what it is man we ain't gonna we ain't gonna talk y'all to death you know but i appreciate everybody that's been rocking with me thus far man from the beginning to right now man you already know man i ain't gonna start dropping no names because if i do that and i miss one then it might be a problem and i don't want no problem with gpg you dig that's what I'm saying. I don't want no problem with y'all, baby. It's all good. But I'm sleep. When I say I'm sleepy, man, I've been on the road all day. Like the video was short, but I've been driving all day. Like, and it's crazy. But I'm trying to find me another vehicle, you know, so I can, you know, do my one-two thing. But shout out to everybody, part of the GPG. The real DPG, GPG. Derek, you already know I had to say that, baby. You already know what's going on with me and you, my guy. You know, you fuck with me the long way. You dig what I'm saying? I can't wait to meet you, big homie. But check this out, though, right? Don't let nothing stop you from doing whatever it is you're trying to do or where you're trying to go, man. If you're getting your weight in, run it over. Always bet on you at all times. You will never lose. Trust your process. <laughs> you got to do that. Got to know where you been and know where you're going. Trust your process, man. 
when I say bet on you at all times, when you bet on you and you trust your own judgment, if something go wrong, you ain't got nobody else to blame. So when it, if it go wrong, you will be able to move right on from that situation and get into another one. So I always bet on you at all times, man, but trust that process, man. Because uh, Jesus turned water into wine. You dig what I'm saying? And I'm going to turn a little dirt into a money carlo. You understand what I'm saying? Trust your process, man. Yeah. God first, family yeah. second, yeah. money third. Yeah. Yeah. We out. <laughs> Back with another video. I'm gas. Let's go then. G body sit in the channel. We bout to go in. LS swaps the small blocks. How you ride? Swag gas being as little princess. They providing that content. Hit the like button. You see the fine print. Cash at the show out band. Like I ain't got sense. L codes Monte Carlo. Say what you picking? Cut dogs to them Buick Regals. What you flipping? Are you Gucci gang? Or you like the F up on your frame? High sit nigga. Get them Carlos. They do their thing. Have you squatting right? I'm gas.